Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com with an unboxing plus on feet video of the brand new Nike Free Flyknits. So as you can see, it comes in your standard orange Nike performance box. I'll give you a quick look at the label. The pair I have here is a size 10 US. The colorway is electric green, white, bright crimson, and blue. And the suggested retail price, while it isn't listed, is $160 US. So I'll take the shoes out of the box really quickly. If you guys are interested in ordering a pair of these for yourself, I will leave a buy it now link down below in the description with all the currently available colorways. So be sure to go ahead and check that out if that does interest you. And here is a look at the brand new Nike Free Fly Knit. And I noticed on my last running shoe video, which was the Adidas Spring Blade, there was a lot of backlash and a lot of criticism for the shoe that I found to be a little bit unnecessary. I realized that something like the Spring Blade and even something like the Free Fly Knit is definitely a little bit gimmicky in terms of what it's trying to accomplish and the technology that it's introducing, but I think that's just it. It's introducing new things, new concepts, new ideas that at the end of the day are really what's advancing technology when it comes to footwear. So to me, when a company tries something completely new, like the Adidas Spring Blade, like the Nike Free Fly Knit, um, that's only a good thing. It's always nice to see new ideas in my opinion. And for whatever reason, in the running shoe market, a lot of people like to judge any kind of new idea. There's lots of old school runners out there that are really kind of sold on one single style of running shoe. And anything that isn't that is garbage. And that's not really how I view shoes in general. And I think if you look at soccer shoes or basketball shoes, companies are always introducing new technologies. And for the most part, people are kind of opened up and are willing to try these new things just because they know there is something there to it. There is some kind of study behind all of these new innovations. And to me, something like this, while it is gimmicky, it's hard to not kind of understand the concept and say that it's not actually a good idea because what fits better than a sock? Nothing. So to make a sock in the form of a running shoe to me is just a really, really good idea. So leave a comment down below. What do you think of just innovation in general when it comes to running shoes or shoes in general? And what do you think of the Nike Free Fly Knit? To me, this is just a really, really cool shoe and I'm excited myself to uh, finally wear them and see how they actually do perform. Now, if you guys didn't catch what I was just saying there, basically the concept behind the Free Fly Knit is to incorporate the Free 5.0 outsole that is very, very flexible as you can see um, it, with an upper that is made from fly, mater fly knit material designed to fit like a sock. This is apparently what Nike's um, athletes have really been requesting for a long time now and they have finally have implemented it in a way that I've personally never seen before and in a way that I think is just really, really exciting in the form of a stretchy fly knit upper. Now, if you don't know what fly knit is, it's essentially a material made of different little fibers that kind of vary in how it's stitched um, how thickly it's stitched, how much ventilation it's going to have, how flexible, how rigid it's going to be. And it really allows them to kind of engineer an upper um, and really kind of put different areas and map the foot and really support the areas that need to be supported and allow flexibility and breathability in the areas that need that too. And overall, it just works very, very efficiently. You end up with an upper that not only looks very unique and really good in my opinion, but also performs well and has all of those elements. And at the same time, it apparently reduces the amount of waste by 88% in comparison to a standard running shoe construction that obviously would have several pieces. Now, Flynate itself is very tightly woven fibers. It's, it's made by machine. This isn't something that is able to be made by hand. And uh, I have to say it's very, very impressive, especially on the free fly knit. Um, I do have the fly knit lunar ones as well. And this is something that to me is just a lot more impressive in terms of the construction of the fly knit material itself. You can see it has kind of this wavy pattern here, which is kind of the reason why I picked this particular colorway. It is very flashy. It has a kind of that rainbow effect, if you will. You got the electric green on the top included on the laces as well. The insole is also in that electric green. Hopefully you guys can see that a little bit. Then you have your Total Crimson Accents. Total Crimson is normally like an orange color, but on this particular shoe, it appears to be more of a red slash pink color. And then of course you do have your blue th throughout there as well as on the top line of the midsole. And then your white in the painted on Nike swoosh on the outside, inside, and of course the outsole itself is all white as you can see. Um, so as far as the 
um, shoe itself goes and the overall feel of it. When I first put it on, what really, really caught my attention is that the laces almost feel ineffective or even unnecessary just because the upper fits so tightly. You notice that it's kind of bent just as it's kind of sitting here. And that's because the, the fly knit is really tightly woven. It's got a nice elasticated feel about it. So when you do put it on your feet, it will flatten out and you'll see it looks a lot more natural on foot than it does kind of sitting here in my hand. But to me, the laces are something that almost didn't need to be there. You can see there's only four lace holes in the form of this exposed fly wire that comes out from the shoe. You can't really feel the fly wire all that much either. And to me, like I said, the laces didn't necessarily have to be there. Another cool feature of the shoe is this sock-like opening here. It's got a collar that is very, very stretchy. This is going to be the stretchiest part of the shoe and it really hugs the foot. I'm kind of worried about perhaps having some kind of chafing here. Um, and overall, there's really no stitching on the shoe. The only visible stitch on here is this back part on the inside of the heel that goes all the way up the collar. And again, that is the one part that worries me when it comes to kind of chafing and kind of getting some kind of rubbing blister is this collar area. But for the most part, it does feel fairly flexible and I'm not too worried about it when it does come to blistering. And I have to say, just from trying them on for a couple of minutes, they felt very, very comfortable and definitely very unique. Now, obviously one of the features of the free fly knit is the free 5.0 outsole. It's the same outsole they're using on their current free 5.0 for uh, basically their standard running shoe if you will um, obviously it has the splits all the way throughout making this shoe extremely flexible in pretty much all directions there's no plastic in the outsole whatsoever and for the most part as minimal as it looks it still has a decent amount of cushioning about it and to me is really comfortable to run in personally um, as far as the bottom goes you do have some extra rubber here around the heel and toe which is kind of the high wear zones on a running shoe whereas the rest of the shoe as you can see is just a harder foam material even on the bottom so if you do intend on using these as a trainer you may run into kind of premature wearing away of the sole it's really intended as a running shoe and that's pretty much it um, the shoe itself is also nike plus compatible so if you do have that little chip you can slot it in the midfoot here and track your stats i'm not sure exactly what the the chip itself does i think it just tracks how far you ran and steps and stuff like that um, calories perhaps but if you do have that it is available to put in this particular shoe as well which is always nice to have that option so that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion of this video goes guys um, we're going to move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes look and of course what the sizing is like because that's always important when you're buying a shoe that's supposed to fit like a sock all right here's a look at the shoes on feet and the way they look is one thing but the way they feel is really what makes this shoe unique um, it truly does feel like a sock on your foot attached to a running shoe sole. In this case, the free 5.0 sole. It's very, very flexible, very comfortable. I'm currently wearing them with no socks, which is kind of the way they've really been promoting this particular shoe, at least from what I've seen. Um, if I was to wear them actually to run in, um, which I will be doing, I definitely would wear them with socks. Although they feel very, very comfortable without socks, just for kind of smell reasons. I would personally prefer to have an extra layer between my foot and the shoe. Um, but overall, I have to say that I'm really impressed by how this shoe feels. Again, you do have those laces on there that do allow you to get that more lockdown feel. And the ankle collar area, while it did worry me about being kind of um, too tight and almost chafing on your foot, it actually feels very, very comfortable and pretty much like a regular sock. Um, again, as I kind of said earlier, it does kind of curl up when your foot's not in there. But when your foot is in the shoe, you can see they straighten out and look more or less normal on your feet. Um, now, is this something that you can wear casually? I guess if you really wanted to with a pair of shorts, they'd look absolutely fine. Probably not something you want to wear with pants, although again, you could. Um, but for the most part, this is something that is intended as a performance product and is probably the way that I'll be using this shoe most of the time. Um, as far as fit and sizing goes, they fit pretty much all foot types. If you did have really wide feet, I would definitely recommend trying these on before you buy them. But for the most part, they will fit pretty much everybody. And in terms of sizing, I went up a half size to a 10 from my usual size 9.5, just like I did in the regular Nike Freeze, and the fit is absolutely perfect. So yes, I would say that they run about a half size small. So go a half size up for the best possible fit if you are ordering online. So that's pretty much it as far as what they look like on feet, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right, guys, that's it for my unboxing of the Nike Free Fly Knit. I have to say I'm really impressed with the shoe overall. 
I love the fit of the upper. It truly does feel like a sock on your foot. And I've already been a big fan of the 5.0 free outsole. So overall, I'm sure the performance is there. They feel great on feet, whether you want to wear them barefoot or with socks. And it's definitely a great new running shoe from Nike that I'm personally very excited about. So if you guys are interested in getting a pair of these for yourself, there will be a Buy It Now link directly down below in the description. You can also check out the review page on my website for further Buy It Now links. On that same review page, you're also going to find high quality images of this shoe just to give you a better idea as to how it actually does look in person and some of the close up details that you might not see in the online stock photos. Again, that link can be found down below in the description as well. If you have any questions or comments regarding this shoe or even suggestions for shoes that you would like to see me bring in, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for more sneaker reviews. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.